Oh, what's going down, Cigar Head crew? All right, y'all. So I'm just getting in some practice because the cigar that we'll be smoking today is not cheap. And if it's not good, me and somebody at Davidoff gonna have to duke it out in the ring. <laughs> I'm just playing, I'm just playing. But all right, y'all, let's get into it. What's going down, Cigar Head crew? Man, look here. I hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. But we're not about to waste no time because the cigar that we'll be smoking today is the new Davidoff 2021 Year of the Ox. All right, Cigar Head crew. Now, we're going to take a good look at this cigar and then we're going to hurry up so we can get into the information about it because it's a lot of stuff I jotted down. Shout out to Half Wheel. I, uh, I jotted down a lot of notes about this cigar, so we about to get into it. But take a good look at the cigar. I, I love the traditional bands on this cigar. It looks the same every year, just a different type of Zodiac, uh, the different type of Zodiac animal. Very nice looking cigar. It's very veiny, very, very, ooh. It's, it, it's very toothy, very toothy. And um, rough looking shoulders on the cigar. Um, uh, visible seams. And uh, the smell of it, boy, this bad boy is musty. I'm telling you, this cigar smells like it's been it's been working out all week and then took a shower. That's exactly what it smells like. Now the foot, I'm getting a little, I smell a little hay, sweet tobacco, and uh, I smell a little, that chocolate? Mm, I don't know, it could be me. But all right, y'all. Before we cut up and get lit, let me tell you about the cigar. Y'all hang on. All right, Cigar Head Crew. Again, shout out to Half Wheel because that's where I got my notes from. Uh, this is the new 2021 Davidoff Year, the Ox. Now, this is the, uh, now the size of this is the 6x60. Now, this is the second time in the Zodiac series that Davidoff has used this size. The first time was in 2014 when they did the year of the horse. So that's very interesting about the cigar. So let me get into what's in the cigar. Now the wrapper is Dominican, binders Ecuadorian Sumatra, and it has five fillers, five. I'm talking about five fillers, y'all, five. Now, is uh, the first one is Dominican Republic Peloto Viso, Dominican San Vicente Mejero Viso. Uh, I said Mejero, Mejorado, Mejorado Viso. Uh, Dominican Yamasa Viso, Nicaraguan Candega Viso, and uh, Nicaraguan Esteli Viso. So I'm expecting a lot of transitions uh, with this cigar. Now, MSRP on this bad boy is $40. You can get a box of 10 for $400. So if you big bowling, then you can go ahead and snag these boxes, boxes of 10s up, man. Go ahead, $400 if you got it. Hey, you know, I ain't tripping if you got it. But, um, now, this is a limited release uh, to 13,500 13, boxes. Now, that is the largest release in Davidoff Zodiac history. Um, they've been doing this release since 2011 uh, in honor of the Chinese New Year. Uh, the cigars are normally released in, uh, in, in November before the, you know, before the holidays and before the Chinese New Year, which is in February. So, we're gonna start off with the 2012 release so I can let you guys know. So now, <clears throat> it's quite a bit of history. They go all the way back to 2011. They came out with the with the Year of the Dragon in 2012. That was a six by 52 green gauge cigar and that one was $35. Uh, they got the 2013 was the Year of the Snake and that, that was a seven by 54 green gauge cigar and that one was $29.90. 2014, the year of the horse was six. But that was another. That was the six. That was the first time they used a six by sixty, and that that cigar was thirty one dollars. 2015, the year of the sheep. That was a six and a half by fifty four ring gauge cigar. That one was thirty five dollars. 2016, they had the the uh, year of the monkey. That was a six and a half by fifty ring gauge for forty dollars. 
2018. That was a year of the dog. That, uh, now that was a uh, 77 by 50 ring gauge cigar. That one was $39. 2019 was a year of the pig. And uh, that was a six, six by 56 ring gauge cigar. That was $39. 2020 was the year of the rat. And that was a six by 52 ring gauge. And that one was $39. And now you have the, th the 2021 year of the ox, which is a six by 60. And this one was $40. Plus tax, it was about 40, 47 something, almost $50 for one cigar. All right, y'all, without further ado, we about to cut this bad boy up and we about to get lit. You know what? For this to be a pretty, um, pretty heavy and girthy cigar, the drawing is very loose. Really good draw. On the cold draw, I get uh, the nat of course the natural sweetness of the tobacco, but I also it also reminds me of those. Um, Y'all may think I'm crazy, but like, but the famous Amos, uh, those famous Amos uh, chocolate chip cookies. It's just the the how how the wrapper used to smell. That's what I taste. If y'all know what Famous Amos, is, I'll probably put a picture up either somewhere uh, somewhere over here. But yeah, that's it. All right, y'all, we about to get lit. Y'all hang on. All right, cigar head crew. Now, immediately for light up. Now, I smoked the year of the pig, and the year of the pig was eh. I, I smoked the year of the rat, and the year of the rat was actually actually pretty good. This cigar starts off differently than all the rest, in my opinion, because you get a you get a slight burst of pepper. And that come, and I know that comes from that uh, that Condega and Esteli Viso. But then, from that, um, but but you get um, they get a smooth coating, a smooth coating of chocolate on the finish, and you get a little bit of citrus. That's what I, I taste a little bit of citrus. Hmm. Nice and smooth. Uh, I, I say right now, is it's trying to push towards a medium plus on the retro. It's trying to push towards a medium plus, but it's it, right now it's about a medium. Not bad, not bad at all. But all right, y'all, we're gonna smoke this bad boy on down. Get into the first third, and if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all, hang on. Hmm. All right, cigar head crew. It's a slow burner, but the flavors, man, the flavors are really starting to stand out. At first, it started out. You can taste that Nicaraguan tobacco. You can taste that. You can taste those visos. And now, now, the pepper has kind of died down. And now, now that uh, now the Dominican tobacco is starting to take the stage. <clears throat> I'm getting flavors of, of honey, citrus, some cinnamon and hay. I'm still getting some chocolate. Mm. I'm also getting like a little breadiness as well. 
nice the the retro hell is the retro hell is smooth you still like you, you still get a little pepper a little, little bit of little bit of a uh, of, of black pepper on the retro uh, just a little bit but it's not enough that make your nose just make your nose hurt it's not a mike tyson right hook to the nose y'all but you do sense that black pepper and um but it's a still it's still a smooth retro hell and also you get that cedar spice nice cedar spice on the retro as, as well only thing i gotta say about it it's still you know it, it's kind of caught up with itself though i'm pretty impressed the, the burn kind of caught up with itself a little bit but we'll see how they you know see how it gets but the construction is not bad at all not bad at all all right we're gonna keep smoking this bad boy on down and if i have anything else i'll be back Y'all hang on. Hmm. All right, Scarhead crew, we're back with the Davidoff Year of the Ox. All right, y'all. Now, I get that. I still get that famous Amos chocolate chip cookie type of note that I get. It's still on, on the finish of, of the cigar. The flavor notes have still been the same from earlier. But in addition to that, that black pepper has totally changed it to a, to a smooth white pepper on the retro hell. Still get that, that cedar spice, but you can pretty much retro hell the entire thing right now. At first, you really couldn't retro hell the entire thing because it was trying to push towards medium plus, but now it's totally dropped off to just straight medium. Nice, smooth, nice, smooth retro hell flavors. The flavors, just, it just coats your tongue with those flavors. And um, I'm also getting some musty tobacco. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna call it, um, we, you know what, we, we're gonna call it a musty chocolate. That's what we're gonna call it. But I'm enjoying this cigar. The burn is not razor sharp, but it's okay. I haven't had to touch it up. It's not bad at all. So still got quite a bit of cigar left. So. We gonna keep smoking this bad boy on down, and if I have anything else, I'll be back. Y'all hang on. Mm. All right, Cigar Head Crew, we are back with the final third of the new 2021 Davidoff Year of the Ox. The experience that I've had with this cigar has been great. Very good flavors. I say that, that, that this cigar is, is full body, in flavors full body and flavors but medium in strength it was pushing me it was trying to push towards medium plus at the beginning but that totally that totally flipped throughout the cigar very good flavors very very creamy now in the final third and also with some nuttiness creamy nuttiness man and also get like um it tasted like um like a you know that french vanilla creamer that's that, that's that's what I well that's what I was starting to get in the in the final third as well. Very good, very good experience that I had with this cigar. Now the question is: Is this cigar worth forty dollars? In my opinion, in my opinion, um, no, it's not worth forty dollars. The forty dollars to me is a bit much, and you know Davidoff is known for having not cheap cigars. Um, not worth forty dollars, but if this cigar was maybe about twenty to twenty-five dollars, that's that's the that's a very good price range that I'll put for this cigar. Very good flavors, man. Very good flavors with this cigar. Flavor notes still pretty much been the same, except for now. Like I said earlier, get some. It's very creamy. Get some nuttiness, and also also get like a a slight bit of French vanilla, like that French vanilla creamer. Very good, man. Very good. So. If you guys enjoyed the flavor notes that I provided with this cigar, it's very complex. And I would say if you have the money for it and you want to get it and you want to try it for yourself, go ahead and give it a shot and let me know what you think about it. But y'all do me a favor, give this video a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button so you know when the next video drops and I will see y'all in the next review. Y'all remember, stay lit, stay humble, and stay smoking. All right, y'all, I'm out. Peace.